He really needs. Uh, yeah, the Burma player really needs to deal with those snipers somehow. Either get a bike or a sniper on of his own. Because uh, this uh, these snipers are gonna drain his manpower so much that he is not gonna be able to build as much units as he needs to do. M8 is now back in business, fully repaired, and it's gonna chase off these pioneers without any problems. So actually, resting really well here, <laughs> bugging those. Uh, Pioneers by moving the armored car around them, just clicking frantically. And I actually managed to kill one guy off. I think that was probably worth it because there's nothing else going on on the field. So, free experience for his armored car. Always good to see. What is C, C Cleaner gonna do about this? His He's put his Sturm Armory up, so he's gonna go for some tier 3 units, I presume. Incoming Howitzer Barrage here on the Kriegs Barracks. Is it gonna, gonna, gonna go down? Probably. It's on very low health now, and another shell should take it out. There it goes. The tier 2 building is out of order. Or <laughs> completely destroyed for that matter. So, ooh, another M8 armored car mine right there outside the storm armory where the vehicles pop when they are finished building. Ooh. <laughs> Look at this M8 armored car micro, that is insane. It just survives anything and the Vermont <laughs> forces just, just want to kill that off, but they are unable because it's constantly moving around and cannot be hit. Oh, we're we gonna see a fast trick. Oh, they hit the ground as usual. Sniper's now picking away these this uh, heavy MG squad right there. Oh, I hope not. The M8 doesn't die right there. M2 sniper. Um. A Puma actually died in Sea Cleaner's base. <laughs> I didn't actually see the Puma, but I heard the announcer voice say that we lost a Puma. And I guess he lost the Puma to the M8 mine, so very nice job. I'm gonna switch over to the uh, Wu right now again. And see how the snipers are doing. Yeah, I think one sniper actually died somewhere in the heat of battle right there. And uh, the uh, medics. Oh no, the M8 goes down to a Panzerfaust. That was terrible. There is uh, medics now they can picking up the bodies for the medic bunker, but the medic bunker is being shot at by the IT gun. It's probably gonna go down pretty soon. And the um, medics. There's no medics to pick up. Any bodies because they got sniped by the sniper. There's one guy here who wants to get some help, but he disappears because he died. That two for the American sniper, very nice. And uh, the Vermont player is actually struggling, struggling a bit as we speak. Uh, he doesn't really have much. And I tank abilities, I think. Well, there's only a single Panzer Shrek squad still. Now there's a Puma out for the Vermont player C Cleaner. How is this gonna change the battlefield? Wu doesn't really have anything to counter that Puma, only a single AT gun. As we can see, they're setting up to show, shoot some infantry forces. He actually hit one immediately right there. It was pretty funny to see that. Uh, that is actually that a bug. Uh, the AT guns have right now that they can hit infantry is actually being fixed in the uh, in the 
patch, which is probably gonna be released soon. Yep, I don't really know. I hope it's soon because they they are done. Uh, it's all the beta patches. So some. Um, how is the birds on the medic bunker and a huge blob of infantry from sea cleaner? Still no veterans here from sea cleaner. I would love to see some, at least a vet one for his uh, infantry forces. It's so cheap and it's so useful. They get health regeneration. Even though it's slow, it's still health regener regeneration. And it's super cheap. Only 100 manpower and 30 fuel. Okay, so what is Sea Cleaner gonna do about this? He's gonna cap the fuel points. And probably gonna get more Pumas. And he really needs to repair this mad bunker because it's uh, burning right now. There's flames coming out of the top of the medic bunker. You can. Uh, Barbecue some hot dogs on top of that building. I guess that's what the Voxrunders are gonna do when they are on break from the battlefield. Sniper is now moving out again, taking shots on this MG42. Uh, Bars is up, by the way, from Wu. And um, another sniper is being built right there. So two snipers he is gonna have a, a party here, a shooting shooting range here for them and free experience. Actually I think we have we had a dead Wood Screener squad capping this uh, fuel point. They got killed by that uh, incoming rifle squads and the rifle squads are now getting chased. It's now getting chased ha ah. Sorry about that. It's now being chased off by the Puma, which is on pretty low health. We should be careful with that Puma. There's an AT gun here in the back. And he should keep that Puma at range if, he's, if he wants it to survive. Grenades and lots of carnage here in the. At the High munition support, and we have another dead Volt Grenadier Squad. Or was that a Grenadier Squad? I can't remember. Snipers can just kill off those medics, and they should. And the snipers can really just move out here and recapture this area after that. Because there's no one guarding. We have heavy nothing guarding the uh, this area at all, except for a. Damaged Puma and a stray MG42, a remand MG42 by a Volkskrinder squad. You can see that's a Volkskrinder squad. Hmm, so Wu is building another AT gun. I don't really agree with that. Why didn't he build a Ranger squad when he has the Rangers? Rangers can just run through MG42 fire and fire up with the, their fire up and uh, take down any MGs with their Thompsons easily and they can also counter that Puma very nicely even though Pumas do excellent damage to infantry forces Rangers are very good against Pumas So, uh, snipers are now moving up. We have a vet three snipers uh, actually, so that's uh, good unit preservation from Wu right there. Ooh, that MG went down real fast, and now the Fairmont player's blob is now moving up. He has finally tech to veterancy level one for his. Uh, Infantry forces, and we have a Nebel firing here. Probably gonna fire around this area and 
force a retreat on the American player. Very nice job from the American player right there. Forcing all of the American forces back to his base. And a single pioneer guy <laughs> on the right hand side is gonna cap this fuel point. I like that stray pioneer. Just harassing. Why not harass when you can? But you should probably harass with um, a second squad. And probably he could do a uh, three victory point countdown if he would go for that victory point in the north. For his son, take us down for it, dude. This sniper is really hurting. Sea cleaner. Oh, that pioneer squad went down to a sniper actually. So it's pretty risky to cap with one guy. So if it, if he gets killed, the whole squad will go down. Ooh, flanking. Ooh, flanking Puma and an incoming defensive artillery barrage. Oh, that's a rocket barrage. Sorry. Long time since I played. <laughs> or. Watch COH. So both AT guns down for Wu. That, that is terrible for Wu right now. He doesn't really have anything to counter those Pumas, and they are wrecking hav havoc in Wu's uh, base right now. I don't know if Wu has sticky bombs yet, yet but. If he does, he has a lot of munitions to use in those sticky bombs with, so... Mm. The infantry forces from the Wehrmacht players are taking heavy losses, but they can just go back to the bunker and reinforce... Ooh, uh, we have another Nibelwerf incoming. <laughs> Sniper is gonna decloak and run away. Oh, is that a nice prediction from the Nibelwerfer? Base is under attack. Almost. I think he was shooting in this area, but some stray rockets hit over here. Almost hit, hitting a sniper. Actually. Rifle squad is capping in the south, and we have another AT gun out on on the field from Wu, and uh, one shot from the AT gun actually damaged the engines on that Puma, and it's, that Puma is probably gonna go down. There it goes. Very nice job, <laughs> just in time with that AT gun there. Now Wu is having. Now Wu can push up once again. There's only one. Puma left on the field, but you should be careful. There's still a Nibelwerfer here in the back, which can do um, damage to his snipers and AT guns. Nibelwerfers are actually very good at taking out uh, AT guns. Ooh, wow. On map 105. I think Wu has had enough of that mm, defensive medic bunker over there. So. We're probably gonna see a second uh, Hauser shot or barrage. Oh, the barrage is going on the Puma actually. We'll see if uh, Sea Cleaner responds in time before it actually goes down. Look at that damage! Wow, Puma is also also got blown to pieces right there. Now the Snipers can move out, and I should have no problem dealing with the Abramath forces. Forces right now, there's no, um, there's no Puma left on the field. Another Howitzer barrage on the Volkskrieger squad, capping the right hand side fuel. Retreat us immediately, or, or you're gonna go down. Oh, the Howitzer shot. Missed terrible, terribly. So, <laughs> We're a the players could retreat in time. 
I will actually have two Nibriworths out for a sea cleaner. I'm going to switch over to his point of view again and see what's going on.